How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Cash Money Records in the house. Yeah, man. Tell us about coming out here for Curl's 10th anniversary. I'm super excited. I haven't met anyone from the company yet, so and I got tweeted out by Curl, so I'm like, oh, I'm so excited to meet you guys. I've been using the stuff, and it's awesome, and I'm just happy to be here, and I now that I see how many people are out here to support, I'm just, it makes me happy. Well, you're looking very dashing today, and you're rocking out some curls. One of the questions that all our Twitter fans and Facebook fans uh, are asking is, how long does it take you to get ready and do your hair? To do my hair, it probably takes me, and this is not extensions, this is all my real hair. It probably takes me about 20 minutes in total to do my hair. But see, some secrets that chicks have, especially me, because I go on tour and I don't have time to wash and curl it every single day, is I might do a little something to it, use some curls products, and then it'll stay that way for a couple days. And then I'll have like that second day hair, third day hair, and it's still rocking. Is it true that you sang on the phone in your bathroom because it had good acoustics, the Star Spangled Banner? I did, and it's so random. And I don't think that the producer on the other end of the phone knew that I was singing in the bathroom for the better acoustics. But you just got to do what you got to do. You have to be prepared. I'm a big believer in, you know, the saying that there's no such thing as luck. It's, it's when opportunity meets your preparation. And if you're not prepared when your moment comes and you choke up, or you find an excuse to not be able to do it, that's when you're gonna miss your chance. So for me, it was like, okay, where is, where's gonna be the best acoustics, the best sound? And it was the bathroom at that moment, and I just sang a song, and it ended up leading to my first record deal ever. And it was an amazing, amazing roller coaster ride since then. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh Lord, Johnny Depp all day. She didn't, even, she didn't even think about that. <laughs> you didn't even think. You just blurted it out. All day, every day. And I will take him with dreads. I'll take him in a dirty beanie. I'll take him with those glass. I will take him any way I can get him. I was such a dweeb when I was little that he, he had his star here, just right around the corner on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I heard that he was getting his star. I drove all the way. I made my mom bring me, and I stood there. And not, it wasn't a line, it was just a crowd, and I just, I was, how geeky is that? I mean, no, not, is that not geeky? It's not geeky, it's, it's true love. <laughs> it's true love. It's true love. Well, now he's never going to marry me, because now that he knows that I've done that, I'm like a little weird stalker person. So hold on a second, he, I know he lives in Paris, would you fly all the way to Paris? Um, absolutely. J just to take a picture with him? Just to take a picture? Well, you took a picture with the star, and you came all the way to Hollywood. You know what, yes, because after we take the picture, I can still enjoy Paris. What's up everybody? It's T Lopez and you're watching SLTV.